Get in, losers. It's time for a crochet tutorial. What's today's tutorial, you ask? Well, let me just tell you, it's how to calculate the amount of yarn you used on your project. So, obviously, if you're going to publish crochet patterns, whether free or especially if they're paid, you need to tell people how much yarn they need to use, okay? Or, this is also helpful, too, if you are selling finished products and you need to calculate the cost of the yarn for your you know, finished product that you're selling so you can figure out how much to charge. Here we go. You are gonna need one of these beautiful baby children. It's a scale, it's a digital scale. They're like $10, so go get one if you don't have one. So just to sum up the whole process, you gotta weigh your yarn, then make your thing, then weigh your yarn again, and then do some really simple calculations, and then you'll have your numbers. First thing you want to do, write everything down. If you're using multicolored yarns, you can use like a color-coded thing. Um, otherwise, if you're just using like a notes app on your phone, you probably can't do that. Just make sure you just write everything down because it's very helpful. So you want to write the brand and the name of the yarn, the color you're using, and then write down what's on the label, write down the yards and the grams, and then weigh your skein and then write down what the starting weight is. Even if it's like a brand new skein, still weigh it, okay? Then go make your project and then come back and write down what you've got left on your skein. So let's say I finished, I weighed my skeins, I've got two grams of yarn left and I've got a hundred grams left of this. So obviously you subtract this number from that number and that's how much you actually used. So this becomes 19 grams, and then you're going to figure out the yards in a second. And then this one is 81 grams. I think it was 81. Um, I've already forgotten. I looked at my calculator and it's gone. We'll just say it's 81, okay? So this right here is already your grams that you used. Like you've already got that information this is what you can tell people. You used 19 grams and you used 81 grams. Boom. Solid. So we're going to figure out how many yards that is. So we're going to label these numbers A, B, and C. Okay, so we're going to do A is um, your original starting yards, okay? So we're going to go 260. We're going to figure out purple, okay? B is going to be the label grams, so it's going to be 25. And then C is going to be how much you used, so 19. So what you're going to do, you're going to take B and divide it by C, and that is going to give you D. 25 divided by 19 is 1.31. All right, so now we're going to take A, and we're going to divide that by D, and then we're going to get E. And E equals 198.4. We're just going to round up to 199. And that is how many yards you used. Now, if you want to check this and make sure it makes sense, all you have to do is figure out how many yards is equal to 1 gram. So you want to do 260 divided by 25. When you calculate that, you get 10.4. And then go ahead and put the numbers you calculated from earlier right there, so 199 divided by 19, and you also get 10.4. So, you are right on, and that is correct. Okay, so let's do another example, but I've made it all color-coded and wonderful. So first you want to just basically write this stuff down and then transfer your information. Okay, so A is 255, B is 200. And then C is 81. So you want to do B divided by C. And when you do that, you get 2.46. So you want to take A, 255, divide that by 2.46. And when you do that, you get 103.6, which you can just round up to 104. So the final yarn amount required for this project, for this color, is 81 grams or 104 yards. And that's it. It's, it's that simple. Just do the little formula I've got for you there and you got it. Well, Lisa, you say, I didn't weigh my yarn before I started. What do I do? Okay, so you just have to estimate. Because, like, 
it's far better for the crocheter to buy more yarn than they need than to not have enough, right? I think they'd want to run you over with their car if they had to go out and buy more because they bought the amount you said they needed and it wasn't enough. Okay, so over, overestimate, never under. So let's say you think you had like maybe 50% of the skein, like when you started. Let's just call that 75%, okay? So just for like easy math's sake, let's say the yarn you buy comes in 100 grams. Pretend that your starting weight is 75 grams. Like just make up a number that's probably larger than what you actually started with so that people definitely have enough yarn to make the project with. Okay. Um, this hat's available on my website, by the way. The pattern, I mean, although I might sell the hat. No, I might keep the hat. But anyway, now you know how to calculate yarn weight and yardage and stuff. So, this is a really chaotic ending. Bye!